what's going on guys i wanted to make a video and talk about my weight loss journey i've had a couple people request you know a couple tips and a couple tricks and basically i could just tell you guys what i did and the stuff that i was eating and i know it's going to be different for everyone because i am like a 220 pound man and it's going to be everybody has different body structure and different stuff that works for them so just realize that before i go into this that this this is what works for me but i do have some general stuff that basically will work for everybody all right so losing weight uh, i lost i would say, i think it's at like 27 pounds now in the last 90 days so it's been a pretty severe journey for me and a weight loss journey for me i've never done this in my entire life you know i've never actually had the strength to stick to a diet plan and stick to exercising you know it's, it's both of those things you guys you have to do both uh, but what i want to stress in this video is that a lot of it is like it's a lot more of your diet and nutrition than people think it is okay everybody thinks oh you know i gotta go run and, and do exercise for long hours of the day every single day which is somewhat true i mean running and exercising is going to help speed up the process you guys but your diet and your nutrition i would say is probably 80 percent of the entire thing you know um the first thing that we have to cut out you guys is you have to get into a space where you're not eating any fast food you're not eating like literally any obviously not mcdonald's taco bell burger king shit like that but even like restaurants, you know, going to restaurants because a lot of those places, they cook the food in seed oils, which is what causes a lot of people to get fat. You know, a lot of these, these different seed oils, canola oil, sunflower oil, uh, there's a long list of seed oils, but um, vegetable oil, same thing, that's a seed oil. A lot of these restaurants cook in that. And then all the fried food is also fried in soybean oil. So anything, if you're eating anything fried, that's literally like just, you're just, preventing any type of weight loss if you're constantly consuming that type of stuff guys so no fast foods no restaurants and basically you got to get into this space to where you're cooking at home you know i feel like that's like a mandatory thing is you got to cook your food at home whatever diet that you choose to take on you have to cook at home that's part of the deal you guys that's, that's kind of part of the whole journey so um Diet is everything. Diet is 80% of all of this. And you also have to be drinking a lot of water. The water is one of the best um, fat burners that we have. This is constantly be drinking water. You know, I don't know the exact amount. It's different for everybody, but um, lots and lots of water. Diet and drinking water. Okay, those are, those are going to take you so much further than just like running all the time and still eating like crap. You know, you can exercise for long periods of time and still be eating like crap and you won't lose any weight literally that's that's how that's how much more important the diet is okay um but guys you have to start eating like whole foods okay and not the grocery store even though they whole foods is really good but what i mean by whole foods and a lot of other people some people call it god's food you know it's like um meat fruit vegetables uh, I was eating a lot, of, I was still eating like raw dairy um, and honey. Those are the things that I was eating. No processed food. You guys, nothing that has all these different, you know, long ingredients lists, you know, mac and cheese, you know, there's uh, ramen noodles, any of that stuff, that's, that's all garbage, you guys. It has all these different chemicals and, and weird ingredients in them that, are, that aren't good for our bodies. So, um, me personally you guys i cut out bread altogether and that's that's what i would suggest is get into a place where you're not eating too much bread because the bread in america you guys is full of sugar seed oils uh, a lot of different things that we can't be processing in our bodies right so um there are certain breads that are decent that you can find that you can still eat like sourdough bread is is solid there's a couple other brands that are pretty much just like flour and a couple other ingredients but for the most part, a lot of this, these bread that they have on the shelves at restaurants, they're, they're pumped with stuff that are gonna prevent you from losing weight. So if you really wanna get into this place, I would suggest no bread, all right? And stick to the whole foods, stick to lean protein, you know? Um, 
fruit, lots and lots of fruit, you know, learn to get into a space where you can fill yourself up with fruit, you know, fruit, yogurt, uh, honey, that's a really good meal. That, that's, and I make a lot of smoothies too, that, that's pretty much like a meal, fruits, and I'll do like um, different probiotics too, like kefir, raw milk, uh, yogurt with probiotics, with honey, you know, so a lot of people are saying, well, what about your carbohydrates? What about the carbs, right? If you don't eat bread, where are you gonna get your carbs, you know? You can still eat like like some some rice here and there, but fruit and honey are also carbohydrates. So you can just you get those get your carbs from fruit and and from honey. You know you can make smoothies. You can do different things, make little fruit bowls with honey on it and yogurt. It's a great way to get your carbohydrates. Um, but guys, you got to get into this space where literally you you're doing the strict diet plan and you're exercising. I would say 20 to 30 minutes a day at least, whether that be uh, weightlifting, running, biking, jump roping, anything like that to, to start activating your metabolism, start getting start getting your body moving, okay? But like I said, it's like 80-20, diet and exercise. So, um, and then the last thing I would say, you guys, is just find a diet that works for you. I know the one that I mentioned, uh, that's the one that works for me, you know? But the main thing is just avoiding the processed foods, you know? Somebody told me, uh, my, my buddy Mark told me this, but like when you go inside a grocery store, basically the outside of the grocery store is the healthy stuff. As soon as you find yourself going into those middle sections, that's when you know you're kind of steering off the path. You know, you find on the outside, the fruit, the vegetables, the meats, you know, all that stuff is on the outside. So just try to stay on the outside of the grocery store when you go there and you should be all right. But find a diet that works for you, man. I do the animal based, you know, so like I said, I said meat, fruits, I'll still eat vegetables here and there. Uh, I do the raw dairy for the probiotics to heal your gut. And then I do honey, you know, uh, but whatever works for you, man, you know, animal based, carnivore, uh, vegan, um, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm not that type of guy who's gonna hate on veganism and hate on vegetarian and stuff like that. I just, I just like eating meat, you know, I, that's, that's what makes my body feel good, you know? So just figure out something that is away from the mainstream. That's, that's all you gotta do. Away from the fast foods, away from the restaurants, away from all this toxicity. And you gotta cook the food at home, you guys. So, and drink a ton of water. So that's what it is for me, man. I just, I just laid it out for you, man. Diet is pretty much 80 for 80%, 80 man. And then you also gotta start exercising at least 20 to 30 minutes a day. And you will notice yourself um, burning fat at a super fast pace. So hopefully you guys learned something from this as always. And uh, yeah, that was my journey so far, you know, I'm keeping it going. So hopefully you can stay at this pace, you know, and if you, if anyone ever has any questions, you can hit me up always and we can talk. All right, guys, much love.